Threatened to kill President-elect Donald Trump, and tonight this San Diego CEO is in hiding with his family and talking to 10 News. Uh, we've received death threats in a, in a non, in a, in a surprisingly large number. Matt Harrigan came out of hiding to sit down with 10 News reporter Allison Ash. And Allison, he told you the moment he knew his private thoughts intended for friends would ruin his life. Yeah, Harrigan says it took a couple of days before the comments he posted to friends on Facebook were actually tweeted out without his knowledge. The threats he says were a joke about President-elect Donald Trump blew up online. So did Harrigan's career. Today, he turned in his resignation. I feel terrible about it, and um, I, feel, I feel stupid. Stupid for posting these comments on Facebook, which he says someone else then posted on Twitter. I'm going to kill the president-elect, bring it Secret Service, and then going into frightening detail, getting a sniper rifle and perching myself where it counts. Find a bedroom in the White House that suits you, expletive. I'll find you. Did you go way, way, way over the line? Yeah, I, I think that was that was sort of the the notion at the time was, oh, uh, you know, the first couple of these things got laughs and ha ha ha, you, you know, uh, LOL. You're just sort of sitting there, not really thinking about, um, you know, the the thing that you're saying, and and uh, you know, admittedly, I had had uh, quite a bit to drink. Those alcohol-fueled words Matt Harrigan posted on Facebook exploded online two days later. Uh, I was blown away, um, and that was the moment I knew that, that wow, I, you know, something that I said completely off the cuff that I obviously have no intention of participating in um, while drinking on election night has now made it out to somewhere that it never belonged. But you're a cybersecurity guy. Did you really believe that those comments could stay in a, your private Facebook group? Well, things frequently do. Not this time, not this election, with people so passionate about the presidential race. What you learn from this very, very quickly is that uh, there is no such thing as a joke, no matter how slight, uh, it may be pertaining to this topic and just don't do it. Harrigan tells me he's cooperating fully with the Secret Service. He's pulled the plug on all his social media accounts and... Anybody who took offense to what I said, I'm deeply apologetic. Harrigan, his wife and two young children are staying with family and friends until those death threats stop. I asked him if he's losing sleep over the thought of being arrested. He said the Secret Service made no mention of it when they interviewed him for about two hours yesterday. Of course, he's hoping that his apology will be accepted and he can move on and try to rebuild his life. Clearly not an easy interview, but he did own up tonight. He did own up to it. And, you know, he said, of course, alcohol fueled the whole thing. Life has changed forever because of it. Mm -hmm.